Hey guys, Drew with GeoArm here again to talk to you about the Alula Bat Connect and its connection into the GE Interlogix Networks NX Series panel. Uh, what we're going to do first here is we're going to go over the packaging it comes in. It comes in this pretty small box here and uh, on this box you're actually going to have the Mac and the Mac CRC that are going to be required for activation. So make sure you document that information before uh, you know giving us a call to get that activated. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move this over to the side. Um, the next piece of information I want to share here is going to be the documentation. This is the actual manual. It'll show you how to mount it and how to get it wired in. Of course, I'm going to touch on how to wire it in in this video, um, but uh, it'll show you you know visual. Uh, you know, illustrations of how to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and flip to the networks page here. You can see the wiring. It uh, it shows you the connections to make between the back connect itself and the networks. So uh, we'll put this right here so that you can see the connections that I'm making. Um, what we'll do first is we'll pick up the Alula uh, back connect device and get it open. There's a little clip on the side with edges, ridges. You just press that down and you separate the top from the base. And uh, as you can see, uh, we have it opened up now. Um, and I have it pre-wired. Uh, this is not how it comes. Uh, I've, I've done this just to save time in the video. So what we're gonna, uh, what we're gonna need here uh, before you, know, you even get started on this installation is you're gonna need a, uh, a strip of 18 to 22 gauge wire stranded. Um, there's gonna be three connections from this one. This is a four conductor. So if you look, I've already stripped this wire and, and pulled this one back so it's not interfering. Uh, and these three are the only ones that remain here. Um, so, uh, and I've wired them in. So those are the three connections we're gonna be using. We'll use green, black, and red from this one. And then this is a strip of 22 gauge two conductor wire here. And uh, this wire uh, is gonna be used for the communications. Uh, so this is, a, this is a completely separate strip. So you'll need two, two lengths of wire. Um, so we'll go ahead and get this first one wired in. So what you're gonna see here is that I've wired the green wire from this to GN, which is located here, right here. So it's already wired down. Then we skip the one directly to the right of it, which is labeled YN. Nothing is gonna be going into there. We're gonna move on to GND, which is where the black wire is gonna go. It's right here. And directly to the right of that, we're gonna put the red wire into 12V, which will be the positive power. As far as communications go, this strip of wire has a red and a black. Um, so I've wired them in just using the red and the black. So the red goes to ring, R-I-N-G, and the black here goes to tip, T-I-P. So once you get those put in place, get them tightened down, it should look like this when it's wired in all the way. So you should have five connections. Now what we'll do is we'll get them wired into the actual networks itself. So we'll wire in for power and data first. So what we'll do is you'll see pause, com, and data. These three terminals right here. Pause, com, data. So we're gonna take the red wire. There's gonna be other wires in this more than likely. So just make sure that you put this in there along with them instead of removing whatever's in there. And then get it tightened down for the red wire, which goes to pause. The black wire is gonna be going to com like so. And then the green wire is gonna be going to data, like this. Once those three are in place, then we can go ahead and move on to getting the communications wired in, which is gonna be this wire that's by itself, the two strip. So just to go over the connections we've made thus far, we have the green wire going from the GN to data. We have the black wire going from GND to COM, and we have the red wire going from plus 12V or 12V to pause on the panel. So now this is gonna be the tip and ring connections we're gonna be making. Down on the very end, down here, you're gonna see the four phone terminal slots. If there is anything in these four terminals, go ahead and get it out of there, it doesn't belong there. With, uh, that's gonna be T1, T, R, and R1. Those are the four terminals labeled. So we're gonna go the black wire here, which is labeled tip on the back connect, is gonna be going to T inside of the panel. So T for tip. Once you have that tightened down, you're gonna grab your red wire, and that is gonna be going to R, which is ring. 
and that says ring in the back connect. So ring to R and then tighten it down. At that point, you are ready to go. This thing is connected to the panel and you can get your internet plugged in right here. And at that point, it'll be ready for activation. So give us a call and we'll be able to get this done with you. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if uh, you have any comments, uh, questions or suggestions, please leave them below. You guys take care. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the show more tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.